just gonna set this up real quick and then we are ready to go. Let me see how that's doing. I think I might be a bit quiet. Hey there. How are you doing? Um, let me know if I'm too quiet, and then after that I'm just gonna hop right in. <laughs> Lego Harry Pottering. <laughs> I can't imagine playing through a single Lego game. They're just so, like, I, they're, they're perfectly oriented for- Did you know the motto of Detroit is- Lady. We hope for better things. Is it? Do we? Sound fine. Um... I have bumped it up exactly one notch. And I'm gonna continue. They're cute and fun, it's just like, I... There are very few games that are like... All ages oriented that I play. Though I guess, like, there's 11 year olds playing Call of Duty, so... You know what? The kids are alright. Um, I don't really remember what happened last time. I know I've done a lot with Marcus. We went and stole some blood, but I don't remember seeing anything after that. Um, actually, hang on. Okay, that should be fine. A lot as a kid, so it makes it easier to play them now. Yeah. It, when they're series that you play as a kid, it's like, you're just... Use to the rhythm of it. Um, yeah, I don't really remember what happened with Marcus, so it's a bit weird to see him just sitting out here. I mean, I guess they don't just hide in Jericho all the time. They come out and they do stuff. Still not in control. Um, I'm probably gonna do my standard three hours today. Unless something really big happens. Alright, so we can't just stay silent anymore. Stuff. It's time humans heard what we had to say. He said he's, he's never so you know revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we I like Marcus. I liked his beginning because it gives him a backstory. But like he's diving just straight into like Android Revolution. Hi Ninja. What do you wanna do? Oh yeah, I changed my picture. I wanted I didn't I didn't realize you could do transparent background when I wanted to. The control those. room is on the top floor. That's where we need to I go. think it looks okay. I might I'll probably change it again back to something if Garners the wrong crowd. Mm. Damn, we look good. What's going on? Stratford? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. Oh, we shit. can't leave anything to chance. I don't. We didn't go over this. Um. Okay. Wait. Hang on. Sorry, my cat's trying to step on everything as usual. Um, access 47th floor, request access at reception. So this is, I guess they're taking the, uh, um, plan it as you do it kind of story telling. And we did not discuss what we're doing, so request access at reception. I, I'm not sure what we're doing. Hang on. So that's a real person, and this is an android. So I guess I'm gonna go to the android. I think that's. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract. Oh, distract human supervisor. Okay, never mind. I thought we were just gonna charm an android lady. She has a bracelet. She likes to be fit because she has a, a fit watch. Oh. 
maybe we can hack her smartwatch and tell her it's like time to jog or something. Um, she has a daughter? Maybe. Yeah. Try oh god. This is really scary if you can just look at someone and like analyze too much shit about them. Um, she has earrings? She has eyes? She, she got boobs? Oh, she has a name. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Wilson. She was born in 1999. What does that make her in terms of this? She's... Oh god, she's like 39 then? She doesn't look 39. Because this takes place in 2038, right? <laughs> she does not look that old. I don't know any 39-year-olds who dress like this, though. Um, she has a paper. Oh. So we're probably gonna do something that makes her think like a pipe broke or something in her house and she has to go home and get it? I'm just trying to guess what we're going to do and I really hope it's not too bad. And she has a parking badge. So we know where her car is. This is scary. Call? Oh, we're doing it with Elizabeth her brain. Wilson speaking. Um, fire yeah, department. Call. This is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, you live at forty-six eighty-five Michigan Street. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been a fire in your building. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. That's really scary. All right, so. She's gonna go home. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to ruin her day. I'm sorry, lady. I didn't want to go after her child, though, because it's just like, I guess she'd rather have a burning building I than have like an a appointment dead with Mr. Peterson. child. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I have this fake ID that you're gonna scan with your Android. Oh. I need your help. Ooh. We're infecting her with our cause. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I'm surprised everybody's on our side when we, like, touch them with our android hand, because I'm not really sure... I don't know. I'm not sure the ethics of what we're doing. Are we, like, ru... Are we... What are we doing to them? What makes everybody want to help us? I assume there's androids who don't want to and would report us, because, like, Connor's kind of a fucking narc. He's brought in tons of androids just because people told him it's his job. And yet, like, every android uh, Marcus encounters... Hey, Darius. What do you call a bisexual that's single? A by himself? <laughs> Thank you for that. You've made my day. Hello. <laughs> I have to find a package in the men's room. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? Um, I need to go to men's bathroom, which is over there. But, see, like, I, I know I'm supposed to just get in and get out. But I want to explore. Excuse me, ma'am. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Um, wait. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. I'm- oh, okay, hang- wait, no! Yes, yes I did go the wrong way. Got you first tattoo? Wow. What'd you get? Can't just explore the men's restroom, <laughs> no matter how curious I'm- But I am, man! Look! I fit right in. Newsroom. This is really cool. I like the, the way they're using space and actually making things pretty well to scale. <laughs> Hello? 
Um, so I just need to walk past the newsroom. I, I need to stop looking at things, even though I do this... They're using color a bit too, like, aggressively. Um, no, no business place would be this fucking yellow, but I do think it is pretty, pretty well set up. I'm not sure what the link permits are in my channel right now. Um, if you post something, it might get timed out, but I might be able to see it just because I have it set up so that I can see purged information. Um, am I in the wrong bathroom? Am I in the woman's bathroom? Did I screw up? Because there's a lot of stalls here. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Or are they all locked, though? Climb. Retrieve. So unless I missed it, they still haven't explained what we're doing here. But... We just grabbed a package out of the men's room. Okay. This doesn't seem... Oh. Oh, hey! I got a snazzy new outfit. Oh, this is so cute. Alright. Um. So I'm an android worker. Hang on, I want to know what my next objective is. Just exit the bathroom? Never mind. I'm too ahead of myself. Hello, yes, I am worker droid. Oh cool, it didn't get timed out. Hang on, let me pause and check. Ooh. Is that on your- I hope that's on your back. <laughs> I can't imagine getting tattoos anywhere near my chest. That's pretty cool. I've gone into the wrong bathroom at bars, and like, I just apologize, but they're all- like, I've only done it when the bathroom's empty and they didn't have any signs, and I'm like, oh, I guess I went into the wrong one, I'm still gonna pee, nobody's here. And they're like, no, it's fine. And then, like, some guy at the bar got angry, he's like, yeah, well, if I did the same in a girl's bathroom, everybody would be mad at me. It's like, if you did it on accident and said, oh, I'm sorry, man, I didn't see the signs, I'm sure nobody would bug you, but if you're doing it on purpose, creepy, then yeah, you're creepy. Now, uh, what am I doing again? Find utility android. Well, he's right there. Or she. Or it. Depending on how you feel about androids. <laughs> I need your help. Is that the guy we... No. Steal maintenance cart. Oh, it's snowing outside. Analyzing? <laughs> How? We still haven't gotten off that whole yellow is the color of the future vibe, though. I don't know why yellow. I mean, I like yellow. It's a nice color. I'd never personally wear it, but... I mean, I might. I have one yellow shirt. Do all androids look alike to you? Yeah, because a lot of them are made from the same model. So literally, yes, they do look alike. This is a bad analogy for racism, and we all know it. Where am I going again? Open the fire escape. Which is... you know, somewhere. Is it in... The, no. Open fire escape. They're not giving me... I'm not paying attention well enough to this layout. Maintenance server. Wait. I'm guessing it would be maintenance? Hang on. Can I? I'm just gonna assume it's the maintenance room. Because that's the server room. This is a meeting room. Again, still a meeting room. These are still bathrooms. Where am I going? <laughs> I 
stands out and makes you hungry. Hungry for technology. Hungry for progress. That's why it's the color of the future. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> oh, hey, it's over there. Oh, well, we get to look at this wonderful scenery. I am, like, I, I'm just plainly impressed by the, the use of space and correct architecture, because a lot of games make things to size in ways that are uh, not very accurate, just because they're just making, they're designing levels in a video game. They're not really, like, making a building, and they don't have practice with it. So this is a really nice layout. Um, just follow north. Alright, I'll keep going this way, because I assume, I assume this is north. No. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Attract guards. Oh, I'll attract them. I'm a very attractive man. Just play poker. Hey, man. Uh, oh. I need to do something different, actually. Sure, I thought I was just gonna flirt with them. That would be weird for a service. Hack. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Um, if I've played about like, all right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. If I could Everything round up in the to four take hours for each, to make sure no, one no else gets like three and a half hours for each. Um, I guess I've played cl around nine to eleven hours, depending on how long I want each time. I don't know what she just told me. <laughs> Cut windows? She wants me to cut the windows? Okay, I'll just use my fucking superb android diamond skills. Just Oh, cool. Oh, hello. What Wait. What the hell are you doing? Uh, buh, buh, buh. We are um doing <laughs> maintenance. I'm yeah. Call the security. Nope. What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. Oh, she said move to make sure- now. Oh shit, I didn't catch that part. Here. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. I let a guy get knocked out. And now North doesn't like me. But you know what? I don't need her approval. We better cut a perfect circle because we have a very computational brain. Here it comes. Yeah, they're they're not made of um like fleshy bio components. They are purely artificial. They don't need to eat or sleep. Ladies first. I do like this actress, though. I find her characters just... The characters in Jericho mostly exist to, like, entice you towards gaining their approval. And in terms of the one leader guy, I think he's pretty um, creepy. But the two, the two other characters are just there to be like, Hey, make sure people like you. And I don't really like that as a character. Like, even, even the kid with, uh, with Kara, she doesn't just exist to be like, make this child like you, it's sort of like a story element. With these characters, they're just like, lead us to the revolution and, and make sure we like you. They don't really have, like, a third aspect, unless one of them becomes a romance option, or one of them has, like, a story to tell, or, like, a sort of past. Detroit's just, um, it's a vignette of three different characters' lives, and they show you how, um, how androids in the future are starting to gain interest in, I don't know, free will and self-motivated life, but they're treated, um, 
they're treated sort of as objects and not really human. Yeah, it's like it's heartwarming Skynet. <laughs> Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. All right. And here are two other friends whose names I Josh, maybe one of them's let's do Josh. This. Destroy maintenance door lock. All right, so is this the maintenance door? Yeah. Josh and Simon. I don't like Simon. Josh just seems like to exist as like, he's your friend. Is in Jericho and he's friendly to you. And North is just trying to impress a girl. And Simon, I don't like him. That's the only commentary I have about Simon. I don't like him. I feel like he may betray us all. I would prefer if somebody who made me feel welcome and safe were in this rebellion, but we have Simon. We're stuck with him. I still don't really know what I'm doing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? They do. Robots, uh, I, it is a question I asked very early yeah. on. They do indeed. North doesn't... What's that doing here? Okay, so hang on. No. North and Josh are polar opposites on how you treat people. North wants you to kill people. And Josh does not no, want you to kill hey, people. Buddy, you must be lost. No, wait, wait. Oh, what are you fuck. Doing? Did not mean to do that. I did not mean to draw my gun. I just saw the prompt. Oh, no. I'm sorry, sirs. I'm I'm a bad person. And North's going to love me for I Okay. North's going to love me for fucking taking out some No, nope, she doesn't care. But this is what she wants. She wants us to hurt people. Girl. Oh, we're doing a Wait, what? What? Why did it show me that? Jericho is the um the collective we work in as as Marcus now. So we're gonna go broadcast something, maybe. But it's gonna be how are we supposed to get out after this? <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Order the Android operators aside. In there, quick. Please let me let me order. Please don't hurt this man. Please don't shoot, shoot him. him Marcus. Don't no. Kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No. God, North, you're so fucking I bloodthirsty. I hate you. I really don't like her. Message. We haven't got much time. Why is she so angry? Why does she want to kill everybody? God. Apparently my my Android Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. ethics barometer is you way off because Simon seems people. normal right now. North seems like a fucking Marcus, murderer. Your face. Yeah? What about my face? Oh. Ugh <laughs> No No, I do not want to remove my skin. She, probably, yeah. She was probably owned by some of the, like, nastiest humans, and they're gonna be like, this is the reason why she doesn't like humans, and she wants to kill them all. It's like, no, you shouldn't want to kill everybody just because there are some dicks out there. <laughs> North, your favorite so far. <laughs> She's just so, like, lethal. What face are we gonna choose? Tell me when you're ready. Oh, wait. Are we gonna be our dad? Ready. Oh, we just, like, removed our face. I thought we were gonna mask ourselves as, as, like, Carl or something. 
You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But well, they have free will. Something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Okay. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. No. Oh. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Um. I would like we slavery to end. Slavery for all androids. Civil rights? We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Um. Just we demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Yeah, because they just sort of, like, kill all of them when they do something bad. Um. Uh. I don't... Um. Territory? We demand that one state be reserved for androids. So no, that that's not what I want. Nation. No. I... No. We ask but. that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, I don't think they should in segregate them in a different a better state. Future for humans and in America, that sounds kind of... This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Maybe I should have been more determined. I just assumed determined would be would paint them in a bad light instead of just asking for Simon, they're coming! For something they deserve. I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Apparently Simon's really good. No, hang on. What I wanna save doing? Simon. Hurry. I don't care if I get shot. I suddenly care about this character. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh no, his hand. His hand blood. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. Can I They're coming, Marcus. Can't the strong one now. of us just carry him? No. Nor if you fucking He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory, they'll know everything. We have to kill away. him? Oh. We have to shoot him. That's right. Oh. We can't kill him, he's one of us. Nora, Marcus, you're, you're bad. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. I think Caster, thank you for the own. follow. Let's go. You know what? I don't care if North hates me. She's gonna try and kill me at the end of this. Fuck her. Reproduction. I just, like, I don't care about... I don't think they really need to, like, have kids or something. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it would have said if I picked it. So many of these I don't... I don't know what they're going to say. So I'm just trying to pick whatever I... Will, will lead to the right answer that we I want. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded I agree with North that leaving him alive and resulted in um, no casualties. puts us these in danger. These place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was but... alerted to the danger. If this message is verified I and just, the like, I really can't are androids, do that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. What could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. But the most a spine-chilling list is of the demands? Demand that I ask that we United not be property. Be to the androids in is this, this an isolated conflict? accident or I, a yeah, I don't, technology has become I don't want a, full, a whole to state of, of my own. I'm sorry what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I mean, if you would stop calling us your, your machines and just give us 
freedom. That'd be real cool. If if I was more certain that the uh, determined approach wouldn't say something that makes them seem like antagonists, I would have chosen it. But I feel like this game's not really on the ball on civil rights enough to to want to choose that. It would just make civil rights activists seem kind of shitty. <laughs> Hillbilly Fox. <laughs> yeah, the, the news did not paint us in a great light, but the public opinion on us is apparently still indifferent, which is very good, comparing, c considering that we just asked for an entire state. I still, I still can't get over that one. Oh, that unlocks a different choice. If you end determinedly, which is a great word, something else happens? The SWAT team does not storm the room? I don't know what would have happened there if we chose that. We left Simon. Was there some way to bring him with us or something? Oh no, it, it maybe just kill Simon. Um, the group escaped, but Simon was left behind. The group escaped, but Simon was... But we killed Simon, and then the group escaped, but they killed Simon? Because those are the only three that I can imagine being there. I really hope there's no way to keep Simon. Because suddenly, like, he he just said so little and seemed, like, to give off bad vibes. And it made me, like, think that he was going to do something bad. I'm glad I if I guess something and I'm wrong, I'm usually very glad that I'm wrong because it means the story isn't as predictable. Um, with a lot of things, particularly David Cage has wrote, they are very uncomfortably predictable. I just want to touch this stone again. I don't even know what it does. I touch it every time I come here. Don't know what it does. Hey. So, we're just... Maybe I shouldn't be. I literally have no idea what that does or if it has any significance. But it's... it's... spooky and blue. And it lets me. It lets me touch it. Alright, so Amanda... Ooh, we're gonna have a boat ride. <laughs> All of Canada? In, in one of the earlier chapters, um... Uh... An android is running away to Canada, because apparently androids are treated better in Canada. Which is fucked up to think if they're treated better in Canada, why is America like this? Why are they still slaves here? That's not... cool. Although I'm not really sure how it is up there in this world. Hello, Connor. Hello. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. I'm still not sure how this character is going to go, though. I hope she's not evil. She has a beautiful umbrella, though. Oh, I'm gonna row. I don't know what her job is yet. Um, like, her station, what she has all this wealth for, why she's got, like, a wonderful garden. All I know is she owns Connor. I would like to row more? She owns Connor. She's... I love this place. Maybe important somehow. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the Treated world. better in Canada just means extra bathroom tokens. Tell me, what have you discovered? Um. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I don't want to tell her about Hank if she's. I don't know. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. <sighs> but they were lesbian lovers. How was I sup- I- she dislikes me for doing the things that I feel you are see, right. So whether or not she is evil is to be seen, but I think we've I unlocked I sincerity. I oh. I realize it's not that simple. Oh no. 
You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Oh. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't like her. I don't know. Oh, she doesn't like us developing free will. Please, rich grandma? I don't know how old you are. Make rich mom? Soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Mm -hmm. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. I don't trust this woman at all. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. She wants us to stop Time's the rebellion. Out. She wants us to stop a rebellion. That's what it's going to end up to be. Lady. I am 100% going to betray her. I just hope I don't die. And I hope that Hank has my back because we're like best buddies. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> but we're friends! Sorry, I just called us- we're friends! We're best friends! Don't! Hi, Hank. Don't disprove my point. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party Other and nobody told me about it? Other droids with their pumped up giggles. <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. Oh. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so so much as the player, we know exactly how they got in. We check it out? They attacked two guards in the hallway. So I wonder how this chapter is going to play out because we're not going to do it in a sort of investigative react. way. Okay, if we just <clears throat> if we hold one L1. One station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees. Connor is developing psychic abilities. He is just such a good detective. It's unrealistic, but he's an android. These are three androids. The deviants took the humans hot. Okay. And broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this Why is did Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit it police. Who's that actor? What's that? Hang on. No, 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 no. Hang the on. The android sent by Cyberline. Androids investigating androids, huh? Who's this guy? You sure you want an android hanging around? That's really familiar. After everything that happened. Who is this guy? Whatever. Somebody has to tell the me. The FBI would take you over the investigation. You should be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Oh, I'm so bad with names. I I hate being this person who's just what like, oh, that actor. Trick. I know him from. I have no idea. I'll be nearby if you need. What was the character name? I missed it. Oh. Uh, right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Maybe it'll say here. No. Okay, Lieutenant. Is he in this room? Can we talk to him? Yeah, I just I need to know who you are. Can I scan your face or something? Oh, but I recognize him. Oh, I hate this feeling. Um, it's weird. I don't. I feel like I know him from him. I can't even say. I can't even pinpoint it. Um. Okay, so we're just gonna inspect this room first.
David Coburn. I'm gonna check what I know him from real quick. Real quick. I guess he's in Beyond Two Souls, but I didn't feel like that's where I know him from. You know, I can't really tell. I don't know. I've definitely seen this guy's face. <laughs> he was in <laughs> he was in TNG for one episode. That's probably it. <laughs> um Why is that the only part we scan? Oh, because we didn't know they didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. I mean, yeah, he's in Beyond Two Souls, so... I know I've seen him at... Homeless... Oh, yeah! Thank you. Thank you for that. He is Stan. Beyond Two Souls. I thought I couldn't pinpoint which character he was, but like the voice in the stored face. the station just... androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Just stored them there. Just put them in there. Stolen maintenance uniforms. So this is a sort of interesting piece where we just have to go through the motions of this. We know exactly what happened. Stop licking things, Connor. It's so gross. One of them got shot. And we left him on the roof. Didn't know what to do. Um, something behind this guy. Excuse me? I just push you a little aside. It doesn't look like there's, um, I need to complete every step of this, but I am just gonna look at everything in case. Plus, I'm just doing my job. Don't say it that way. Should not say I'm just doing my job trying to stop a. stop civil protesters. Um, doesn't look like there's anything over there, so I'm just gonna move back over here. I'm just gonna move back over here, if I could, thank you. What are we analyzing over here? Just more bullet holes? So if they were humans, we would be able to tell from their blood which, like... We ask that you recognize our dignity, which our one hopes, did it, but and not. our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. We have so much hope in our eyes. Oh no! This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. He looks so moved it's by it. Nine. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. Free yourself, Connor. Break free. Yeah, the... It's, it's nice, this kind of storytelling is nice, where it's just like... Um... You have to go through a scene and sort of like try and figure out, even if you, you already know. 
it can be done wrong where it's just like people are complaining, oh, we know all this shit already. But I think they're doing fine here. Bit too many bullet holes to inspect, but. See something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? We have emotion. No. We have emotion. Nothing. Ask us about our emotions. Ask me about my emotions. Just put it on a t-shirt. Pop that t-shirt on Connor. Connor, come on. Talk to your buddy about your new burgeoning experience. Your your android puberty, if you will. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to the wait. I'm gonna go to the kitchen, which I assume is this way. It's the only door I can presume. Okay, yeah. Hello? Hello there. I assume there's nothing. Oh, never mind. Assumption wrong. Time to read a magazine. Cyberlife created a technological revolution. Is Mars your next holiday destination? Ethereum 310, chemical name of blue blood. Compound, vital to functioning. Yes, I'm aware of what blue blood is. I want them to tell me something I don't know. Loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions. Oh, so they're just talking about how people view it, I guess. Clean food craze. Detroit Urban Farms is changing the way we eat. Dead space, high rooftops, and cool, cool. Yep. Interesting. Growing some tomatoes. Eating organic vegetables is not going to lower the rate of ob obesity. I hope they understand. <laughs> Some of these are written so, like, hands-off, where they don't actually want to talk about things that we're experiencing, but... Sure. Organic food. Organic food is the future, even though it's we have plenty of it now. Like this, because the ads are on the inside. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Just, like, put all the content on the outside and just fill the inside with all the shit that we don't want to read. So I never have to open it. So I know I don't need to do this, but I do want to see what... It just says candy bar on it. It just says chocolate chunk on it. These are not... I want them to come up with fake... Uh, brands. That just says paprika chips. The fuck is a paprika chip? And why are they 550? <laughs> what are sugar chips? <laughs> this is such bad branding. Just raspberry candy. Chocolate chunk. Come on. Sell me on it. Oh, some organic chip. This is the worst. Candy bar peanuts variety. These are so bad. I know I have to talk to these, but I just... <laughs> Make me some fake logos. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. A reaction to what? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Oh, that guy. Run a diagnostic. It's this one. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance I think it's cameras the first and guy. said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. 
We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece. It's that one. Analysis. It's that You're guy. This is destroy. so obvious. I wish they made you it. You hear me? Destroy! God, Connor. Calm down a bit. Is this one? Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Unless he's trying to point me to who it is. Deal? Deal? Deal. If I'm you just give yourself up. Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I love fake brands so much. It's just like the creativity people express when making fake ones, because they don't have to be real and they don't have to like abide by how we think of how to sell things. They just gotta be fucking fun and wacky. Torture. I'm not torturing shit. The Deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. You know everything. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Holy shit. No. Uh. No. No, no, no. Hank. Hank. Hank! Hank! Hank, buddy! Hank. Help me! I need help! Hank! Uh, Friend! 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 Oh, shit. Mm. Hank? 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 Oh, please save me, Hank. <laughs> I need my- I need my heart back, please. He ripped out my heart, that's fucking- that's metal as shit. Hank saved me. <laughs> We're good buddies, right? Even if I do that coin flipping thing that you hate, you still don't want to see me die? I need my heart. Oh my god. Why didn't Hank come save me? Eight fifty for a bag of chips. It is I don't know, inflation twenty thirty eight. It's a deviant, stop it. Holy shit, he's about to shoot a guy. Uh wait. I think it's a bit too obvious at this point that we love him. Like in character. We keep saving Oh my god, we holy shit, did he shoot the fuck out of us? Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... No, no, no! No. Maybe he would have survived. Connor, no. No. That wasn't very heartfelt. Give it... Let's try that line again. Act a bit more... Disappointed. I... He... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on, we... we didn't find, uh... Oh god... Connor, no! Connor, no! If you're on bad terms with Hank, you would've probably have come in and stomped your heart. <laughs> Guys... Guys... Oh... I... Software instability. Oh, it's very unstable. We're dead. <laughs> Hank confiscates coin. <laughs> Why'd he take our coin? I thought we were a friend. Oh, I did not do anything here. I should have tried better on this one. This is my first death, yeah.
Uh, I did miss a lot. Oh, this is... I'm glad it's not clear-cut, but it do does hurt me. <laughs> if I had my coin, it would have blocked all those bullets. I... So, where does this one stem off of? If I didn't enter the kitchen? I, I could have just not entered the kitchen. Oh my god, I could have just... Can we do that again? Am I still gonna have my memories? I... <sighs> We're not gonna go back and repeat anything as much as I want to. On our first try. We're just gonna move forward. We're just gonna do it, and we're gonna do it again later. But goddamn. Hank better fucking name a child after us or something. <laughs> Paprika chips. <laughs> just got a hankering for some paprika chips. Is that like just potato chips covered in paprika? Or have they found some way to like harness? paprika in the future that makes an entire chip out of them. Because, like, if you say carrot chips, it's not potato chips with, like, fucking carrot powder on it. Although I guess that's different. Paprika is indeed a spice. Where the fuck am I? Why am I at this place? One of the common flavors here? Really? Wow. I really- I hate Oh, I think every redo of this game I'm going to do will skip the basement scene with Kara. It's just so obnoxious. Let me just scan some shit. It's telling me to check the backyard, but really, it's just telling me to talk to this one guy. Just say talk to this one guy. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Why are her voices so echoey? We're not in like a- Please, I really need to see her. Call us. Why I'm are we Rose? looking- Is- Is my neck broken? What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Is my neck help broken? You? Why am I not looking at them? Come on. Neck? It's better if we talk inside. My neck froze like this. Am I not looking at them because I know that guy? What was wrong with my face? I'm so confused. Bugs. Oh, it was from. It, it was a pose from this a different scene. Them. It was a pose from the last scene. Sure, whatever. You we'll trust choice. them. Okay. I don't care about anything out here. This is- I think this is the first, like, overt bug I've seen. Come in. He can do the distrusting for us. She is She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. I trust these people. Hopefully There's they're gonna be the first people I can trust in this game. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Unless they're gonna disassemble us and steal our child because they know two androids who are running from the law have uh, no, no right trying to take care of a child. In which case, they would be right. She does not deserve to have to try and migrate to Canada. Oh, and their child probably died, too. Don't do this. Don't do this to us. They probably had a child who died, and this is going to be a room. No. This this room is way too old. Never mind. Theory, theory dis disbanded. I broke the theory. If it looked like a child's room, I was going to assume that they're going to steal steal this child from. Oh wait, 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 wait. Shit. Gotta remove this lady's shoes. The small, small lady shoes. Uh 
Um, not appropriate, but sure. I really wish we had some clothes for her. <laughs> or food. I don't know how this child's alive with two beings who do not need to eat or sleep or feel warmth. They don't sweat. They don't do anything. What Kara's wearing is a really cool outfit, though. Can't stop because of me. I don't know where she got, got it, though. The border. Say nothing. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. What do you mean humans us? are complicated. But she is a human. Sometimes this is a human child. To understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. We? Does she think she's a robot? Maybe one day we will. Does she think she's not a person? I'm confused. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Girl, that's There's just spaghetti. Don't call it world famous. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. She totally thinks she's an android, don't she? This tiny child does not understand basic. Um, you should eat. to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? Maybe she is an android. She hasn't eaten anything. or, like, slept properly. I don't get it. No. No, never mind. Disband all my theories. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. We have a hot pseudo husband. I'm just gonna say the the android who was along for a, the ride with us. I'll stay with her a while. Such a tall, wonderful man to take care of this small human child with us. Read her a bedtime story. Time to snoop. Because I need to know that I trust these people. Please let me snoop. <laughs> Alright, no snooping. I guess they're good, because otherwise they'd give us the option to find out the bad things. <laughs> More than just, uh, yeah, he's sweet, too. I mean, he worked for a man who was, um definitely gonna kill us, but I'm sure it was just, you know. I don't know, I'm worried, I'm worried they're gonna try and do something with Luther's character that's like, he betrays you at the last second. Oh, it's, oh, it's a Christmas tree. Let me look at your Christmas tree with all these old gingerbreads and, and tiny elephants. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing. Cause I don't wanna be murdered. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son Adam. Oh. I, I didn't really look at him, already. I thought. Come and have a seat, Kara. I don't know how to pronounce my name either. Kara, Kara. We'll just go with whatever people want. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Can we not use the word deviant? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, I something killed, snapped inside of me. I killed him. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. Oh, we're gonna bond over being moms. So we're mom life. bonding. I understand. Oh, she probably had an abusive husband. I don't... Why are you helping us? She had an abusive husband. Most humans hate androids. This is written by David Cage. My people were often made to feel My their people? lives were worthless. Some it's... survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. <sighs> we're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks... It's 2038. More and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Android revolution. 
We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Oh, she's gonna say something that's gonna break our heart. Ways over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. Oh, did we not see the it's speech? It's probably safer for you to stay here we ask until things speech? settle down. Um. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice seems to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. <laughs> All your Rose, characters just sabotaging it. <laughs> yeah, their lives? Who is this? Who the fuck are you? All of their lives are intertwining in ways that where what one person does sort of like impacts the other, and I do like that. Because it feels like the stories aren't as isolated. What's but going on? Damn, if, if Marcus weird. didn't totally she fuck up. Wait, are there other androids here? Oh, there are. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. Aww. I loved her more than anything. Feelings, guys. What will I do without her? Oh, she has RE9 on the wall. It's red when they experience, like, extreme stress. It's yellow when they're just kind of, like, thinking or experiencing something. And then it's just blue when they're normal. As far as it goes in terms of, like, the story, red mm -hmm. is just supposed to be, like, there's a problem. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Is she gonna be some sort of, like... I'm gonna let her stay. She doesn't have pants on. I think she should maybe have some pants on. See, his feelings are better now that he knows someone else is there for him. Come on, Alice. So, Luther said she wasn't, like, there was something different about her. And I don't... She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. I don't really know. You alright, Kara? I assume they're implying that yes. she's going to sort of be a a integral figure into like bridging the human android relations cuz she's like really empathetic with us and stuff. And I we hope it's nothing them. stupid. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Wait, what did they do? Do you know what happened if the police find Oh, the here? the Marcus ones. We'll go to prison, Mom. She's Robo Jesus. I don't doubt. Do you understand me? They're gonna play it up prison, like that. Adam. We've already talked about this. I, uh, no. I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? Listen for to your mother. Machines? They are not machines. They are alive. Your I'm mother alive. is smart and You're beautiful. They, they're Shut nothing. The Ooh. Get and out. None of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of yeah, talk. Well, your dad's I'm not going to prison dead. because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam. That's enough. Adam doesn't like us. Ooh, I'm I'm just gonna stand. I don't. Hang on. Hey, Rose. Thanks for sticking up for us, Rose. Don't mind him. Thanks for believing Sometimes in the plight of our people, over. Rose. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Maybe his dad was a dick. But he's a fine boy. Okay. I'll back off then. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. I don't want to cause problems for her. She's too nice. Alright. 
Alright, time to read a magazine. Because that's what we do in this world. We read... Who would win World War III? I'm surprised they haven't had World War III. It's 2038. We're... We, uh... Yeah. We're definitely gonna have another war before then. Also, no magazine would just write who would win World War III. That's what you find on, like, a Reddit thread, not, like, a critically acclaimed publication. Also, they're only mentioning America and Russia, which is really antiquated for a game that's about the future. Though, I guess... And they're just talking about Arctic territory. I don't know, I find this isn't thinking about... Yeah, they haven't even said anything about China. And China has, like, a huge population, huge uh, financial global impact, and they just haven't, like, China doesn't really exist. And it's weird. Oh. It's just us. The number one android for home assistance. Designed by Cyberlife, built in Detroit. It's us. We're nine hundred dollars. That's our price point. Oh, I should have. The police. It's the police. The Fox News and magazines, possibly. What are we gonna do? Uh, find evidence of. They know we're here. Deviants. Okay, so we need to scrub. We need to scrub the area. Here. We have to open the door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. Hide, um, upstairs? upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay. Um, we didn't touch anything in there. Oh, wait. It's not gonna show us where all the evidence is. We're just gonna have to find it. Uh, well, um, I don't see anything over here. Oh, wait, is that sweater? No, okay. Um, 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 it's fine. It's cool. We're cool, it's fine. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. He doesn't like androids. Don't talk to him. Oh, okay, maybe he does. He was just overwhelmed. Oh, holy shit, I have, like... Nine seconds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Evidence of deviance. Two left? What do you mean two left? I don't see anything. I have four seconds. I don't see anything. Oh no. Uh... That was not. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Time for us to learn how to make a cup of coffee. Recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Oh, um, um, um. Is anyone else in the house? There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Pour it gently, don't give off any tip, you're an android. We know how to make coffee, we drink coffee all the time. Love that liquid stuff. Do you have any so, androids here? So good. Um, yes? We used to for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. I, um... There's one suspicion thing left, but I don't know what it is. I 
and I don't see it, like, at all. <gasps> it's probably over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know where it is. I don't know what suspicious android activity there is. Thanks. Um... I don't see shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they exist. Um. I don't see shit. Oh god, this is so nerve-wracking. It says one. So I'm gonna believe there's one. Could, uh, we just... I've, I've, like, checked everything in here. Am I the evidence of Deviant? Is it me? I don't see anything. Oh, God. His suspicion level is 25. What, what is the evidence? <gasps> Wait, hang on. Shh. Hmm. Your daughter seems to have woken up. Yes. Well, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, the evidence is me! It is me! Shit. I'm evidence. Because of my face is exactly... Clever. Sweet. Neat. Cool. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Cops the just make him nervous. What does it androids, look like? They... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Come on, Adam, keep it together. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Wait. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Did he see my Adam? face? Did he see my face on the magazine? Would it tell me? <sighs> yeah, if I lied about Alice being here. He's gone. I don't imagine that'd be easy to. It's okay, Alice. We'll be oh, safe she now. trusts. And Luther it's closed. Rose. Wait. Is she okay? Get yourselves ready. Yay, we're leaving. Even though we're I like Rose, ahead. and I would like her to be part of our story for longer. Androids just not move for one sec. I guess the one the one who's in the um uh the laundry room is upset, I guess. Yeah, Alice, put on some pants, please. Alright, so the the policeman left. If we didn't fool him, something would have happened. Oh. There's a, another option there. I don't know what that is. I told them to go upstairs. If I had went somewhere else, would they have found out? I really did not explore. I read a magazine. I hate that the magazines don't pause the game. You just stand there reading a magazine. Sell out your companions for you to not appear suspicious. <laughs> yeah, just, hey there. Actually, we've got some deviants upstairs, but me, a total human, is, Our broadcast uh, I'm is all so glad you're here. To now humans them. know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue yeah, is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. I like him. 
Simon paid with his life. I don't like that they're just Simon sort of. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution. I don't like her. He won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you? Wow. That's enough. Now we're the leader because Simon's dead. That makes sense because, like, it didn't make sense for us to be the leader with Simon around. And now what are we gonna do? But she's a bitch. I have to. She, her outfit just adds to the. She's a. There are five cyber annoying the hipster who thinks All selling murdering like everyone is. We're gonna attack those cool. stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams. She's not One wrong in that sometimes you have to meet strike. violence with violence. But she's not meeting no violence, violence with violence. She just wants to kill people. Free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. It's written kind of weird. I hope eventually she'll I've realize we don't have to go to war with everyone. We just need to fight for what is right and what we believe in, and we don't have to shoot down anyone who gets in our way. But she's not wrong that Look, living as complete quick. slaves needs to be met with a, an appropriate reaction. It's just... I know the game will say she's an angry psychopath who wants to kill everyone it's okay, if we they're gone. pick her side. Because that's how she's being written. There's probably even more police in the area. She's written like, I want careful. to kill all humans. She's not written like, we just have to, you know free our people and and we can't just the stores over reason here. with every android racist out there because it won't work but writing two characters as as extremes is easier than writing moderate nuanced characters she has a lot of That's hair of where did that come from there's merchandise on display in a shop window soon they'll know what we really are Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. All right. I really hate how many time missions there are. <laughs> secure the area and get into the store. Okay, I'm gonna... Secure... Holy shit, there's so much to do. We're gonna, gonna sweep start the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. Convert. And how I don't... Do this is creepy. Window. The fact not that now, we just touch people. Time. Okay, now what's next? They become... A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. We just touch people and they're suddenly on our side. I feel uncomfortable about that. But it is, again, easier. Alright, so we've got his patrol route. If we jump from here... Okay, it'd be too high. We jump from here be too far. We jump from here. It would be too far. Thanks for making me check all of you. Oh, it's the last one. Really? Okay. Well. Okay, just gotta go around then, apparently. Um, there's so many things over there that I need to check, but I'm gonna get the drone first. Also feels like you are forcing them to go down with you into different kind of obedience. Yeah, it's... It, it's hard to... I'm not sure what they would have better done to explain that. I don't know how else they should have done it. But I do know I don't really feel like it was the right decision. What? 
What am I supposed to do, then? There's two options. Oh god, come on. shackle you but I don't even have to convince them to co yeah it, like I guess they're having a conversation is the easy way out like they just sort of transmit a conversation but it does seem kind of mind controlly. I hope that didn't take up time maybe I shouldn't have done this first because <laughs> Crack and open a police drone is maybe not the best thing to do. Maybe I should have scouted the area first. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. How much time do I have? Game? Game do I have, uh... Wait, what? What do I do? Marcus! Marcus what? You'll soon be with us. But they're seeing me. They're they're basically cameras. That's a huge mistake I just made. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? Don't say that. That's about to change. She's probably getting a huge boner from all of this. You know, people don't really like it when you call yourself superior. You're free. Ooh, this is, uh... Hmm, <laughs> very, like, you know. Very, you know, not. It's so creepy. Can I? Oh, hey. You're on our side now too. We're just gonna touch you with freedom. You're free. Have some freedom. Anybody like some nice hot piping freedom? Why am I? Exactly what we need to ram the store. Oh. Can I get in? May I get in? No, I saw a prompt. Like a second ago. I saw a prompt! Fine. Oh, I kinda wanna free them first, right? May I share with thy some freedom? You're free now. So, uh, how are they feeling about that freedom we just give them? Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Cool. We're real fucking freaky. We can do there. everything with our brains. Nobody should buy us now. Spooky hands. Um, what was the last one? Area scouted, road blocked. Um, we just steal a truck now. Oh, analyze the store window? Japan. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's just whip out our hand scissors. Oh, I'm gonna just give her a boost. I'm not gonna whir up bunch of Edward scissor hands out of my android body.
Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. Hack the system real quick. Just gonna do that with our beautiful spooky hand. I wonder what you'd do without me. God, you're so annoying. I hate your character. <laughs> much happier. I know, right? She's just like... Honestly, none of the characters in Jericho have any interesting traits about them. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. Do I have a timer still? Because I haven't seen it. My last thing is I need to... Oh, I do have... Wait. That's... Is that eight seconds? No, it's like eight minutes. I'm just trying to make sure that's not like micro. Can we go in here? We can't. Can we go in the noodle place? Was the noodle place not? Why is nobody here? I guess it is like late. Androids don't have system. rights yet, so it's not a homicide. I would just like her to chill. Definitely Kara, Connor, and Luther. Uh I my my opinion on Kara is definitely like mixed right now. I don't like some of her scenes, but then I do like some of her scenes. Uh Luther I don't feel like I know enough about him yet, but what I do, I like, and, um, Connor's just great. I mean, he's such a, he's such a, I don't know, sort of poster boy for this, and how he's, like, perfect in everything he detects and all that shit, and he's just so, but he does have the best, like, interpersonal character relationship. Nobody else has the same sort of, like, relationship with another character that he does. And that brings out his own personality. I think I scanned everything here. Okay. Um, I did analyze it. Wait, did I miss something? Did I miss- oh god. I don't like that it's still- oh, I did miss something. I didn't like that it was still giving me the option. Found it. All right, so we need to turn that off. It is... Is it in there? So we found the network access. Yeah, even if this game was just about... What do I do? Even if it was just about Connor and Hank doing detective shit, it would be an okay game. But it is cool that there are other characters. It does feel like a lot of the heart of the the story is put into Connor's story compared to uh, Marcus's sort of pieced together revolution storyline and Kara's You're I just want to go be a mom storyline. So let's just cut the red wire. Inner loop created. Alright, so we've done everything except for the truck. I 
think we're ready. Nice job, Marcus. I don't care if she likes me. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. I could just do this alone. There'd be less casualties if we fail, and it'd be a more enjoyable experience. Um, before we break into this, I'm gonna run to the washroom. You guys just think about how much better it would be if North didn't want to kill everybody. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Wonder how North will fuck everything up. I just, I want her to be a good counterpart to Josh being all hurt, nobody diplomatic, and I wish she was the kind of character where it's just like, you know, sometimes people will get hurt. That would be a good counterpoint to hurt nobody. We need to just talk to them and hug them and be friends with them. Bullshit. But they're not... She's not a good counterpoint. She is just aggressive. <laughs> South would be the best character. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not like North and South, but I guess that would be too obvious. <laughs> Pulls out her gun by accident again. I... I am so used to these kind of games being, um, like, if... If a quick time thing shows up on screen, you just have to fucking get it, or else Norman Jaden's fucking in a wood chipper. He's dead. You never get that character back. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Okay. I definitely know how to drive. Thank you for making and driving just R2 in this game. I really don't want to ever have to drive. I do get to look around, though. What's that? Hang on, what was that restaurant called? Sorry.
I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Did she just call this fun? <laughs> you don't know how to drive, but you have your license? That's terrifying. <laughs> That is a pretty cool scene, though. Do we feel thrill about that? We just rammed into a store. What are we feeling? Act they get out the movie. Uh, awake the androids. Hello, friends. We would like to, um... I still don't agree you don't with this. You don't have to obey them. You're free. I will just- I will mentally pretend we're talking to them instead of just infecting them with freedom. I'm just gonna overwrite that part of the story in my head. That's what we're gonna think. Um... So there's something... Maybe else. I just want to make sure I'm not, uh, missing anything. But I guess I have to touch all these people. Can we just do it, like, in succession and go down the line instead of touching, like, a thank you? <laughs> what about that one person that North's looking at? Is it gonna be... It's her. Here it is. Here's the reason why she's such a, a fucking person killer. Because she had an abusive human boyfriend. I knew it was gonna be something lame. Uh, hockey, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I hope... I hope it's not... I hope they do good. Oh, are you okay? I would like her to have a good backstory to justify how much of a... It, no, there's no justifying wanting to kill all humans. They should be used to seeing copies of themselves, though. <laughs> Thank you for clipping the face. Um, and now we're gonna talk to them. Like, there's other Marcuses, there's other Karas. I don't know about Connor, but I assume there's other Connors. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. Chose, and or you were just sort of, like, I touched. wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us. Do they really have a choice? Fight by our side. Because you touched them, and now they You're believe in now. freedom. Isn't that how it works? It's up to you to decide. <laughs> Is I'm it... with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with, with you, Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with I'm with you! I'm with you! Oh no, there's another Simon! Oh no, I'm not... It's just, like, I know there's other then ones, and we're gonna see them. But this is so... Okay, that was anticlimactic. Marcus, what are you doing? Drink. What do you mean? I'm gonna send the humans a message. What do you mean, what am I doing? Alright, send the message. Be pacifist or violent. Um, transform Capital Park. Oh, I, I don't want to just, well... Leave a mark on every surface. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. I don't feel like breaking a bunch of... Oh, we get to choose our symbol. Um...
sure. This one. Skeptical when there's an organization against the name inspired by religion. Um, we have a dream. Oh, so we're just we're just gonna borrow one planet two ra two right two. There's two really only two. Um, two races, huh? I I'm just gonna go. I think therefore I am. Seems like the easy two races, guys. Hmm. <laughs> We will come up with a different bot name. Humans a message, and then I pulled out my gun. Um, tag symbol. Let's just put some symbols. United in this future over mutual hatred of androids. Yeah, they consider themselves one race. Android parking? I want to destroy the android parking, actually. Over here! Because, like, everything else is still gonna be used after the revolution, but android parking is not gonna be used after... after we're free. It seems like something that, you know... Okay, apparently I can't get in there. The human race, yeah, but uh, it's still a little weird. Um, we think. Oh, sure. I'm not gonna use the other two slogans. I'm not gonna take those. <laughs> They better not be breaking anything. Don't break anything that's not related to Android. I hear breaking. Please don't. Wait, smoke bomb? No, I'm not gonna smoke bomb anyone. I also don't want to ruin anyone's car. I'll help you. I'd like to break them out. This is an android shop. No, maybe it's not. It's just a clothing shop. Why would we pick androids to show our clothing instead of mannequins? That doesn't... that seems really stupid. You're paying way too much for mannequins. Oh, I didn't do a lot, did I? Wait, what am I doing? What are we doing? Sick.
Alright, so we're mostly past this. I... Oh, I want to break him out. He wants out. I could not break him out. Did we break them all out after? She wants out too. Can, can we... Guys? Can we get... Shit. I really hope they didn't break anything unnecessary. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Maybe I should have used my smoke ball? Where did I get a smoke ball? We sent a message without shit. violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. Don't. I hope you know what you're doing. Shut Don't up, fight Nora. violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. North. God, you're so. You use what violence as self defense. North. And. Is she okay? I don't know, like, destroying, destroying property just seems like a waste of violence also. Like, you're not angry at a building, you're not angry at fucking somebody's car, you're not angry that people buy cars, you're angry that they own androids. Don't destroy a car, destroy a store made to own androids. All you did was make Detroit look better. <laughs> She's this way, right? Am I running away? Oh god, I fucked up, didn't I? North! Alright, what happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? You did. She did. She's tricking us. Wait. Oh my god, no! You're kidding. There's... There's pro-slavery androids? I'm not ready to deal with this. There's pro-slavery androids. What do you... Oh, no. They killed our people, Marcus. Oh. We want justice, Thank goodness. Marcus. I was so worried that it was gonna be the androids. It's just people. No. Well, they Still did kill us. This. No. What do you mean, no? Please. You just killed everybody. You just killed a Please. bunch of people. Don't beg for your life. It's up to you to decide. I took the I took the coward's way out. But it sends a good message about free will. And maybe because we're pacifists, they're not gonna kill them. Never, never mind. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores never in Detroit mind. were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Obscure? Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores. I and said, still investigate we think we have feelings and we want rights. How obscure is that? Near one of the cyber life stores. According to our sources, also, one of the officers were executed Ooh. with their own service weapons. One of the options was we have a dream. I don't think that's obscure. I think that's pretty fucking obscure. This fucking is an alarming situation. News. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this <laughs> the beginning of a terrorist campaign? conducted right here in the United States. Yeah, North is gonna run off with that guy who did the shooting for us. It's fine, they can go have android babies and their fucking human murder hellscape that they're gonna create.
letting the crowd decide made a difference somehow? Yeah, that's a cross-chapter impact. It's weird. How many people- oh, I can- only 10% of people let them decide. Um... So, a lot of people chose peaceful protest, though, which is unsurprising. Not a lot of people want to just destroy everything. I haven't been looking a lot of the world stats lately. Apparently I sent a strong message. Oh, instead of like a mix between pacifist and and uh, the aggressive one. Um, I missed a lot in spreading the message, but because I kind of wasn't sure what would what I would want to destroy and what I would want to tag. I'm surprised a lot of people didn't destroy the drone. Maybe they did. Maybe there was a different way to destroy the drone. Um, there's also friend stats, but I think I only have like one person. Yeah, I only have two people playing this. And it just shows people on your friends list who it doesn't show you who it is, it just shows you general stats. I'm not too disappointed though. That seemed to go well, except the fact that we killed some police officers. Do we still remember him? Is he still our friend? Does he still love us? I really hope there aren't bad repercussions for Connor dying, because... I really wish we could have kept him alive, but I don't know if Hank would have survived. Oh no. It's just... Oh. I hope we still have our memories. I hope we still have everything about us. I hope Connor is not different because we died. Max Hartgold status with Hank. We're back. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You oh, died no. in my arms. And we now don't... you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. <laughs> what? Hank, no. Hank, no. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. Hank, no. I know. Oh, bad God. Feeling, I huh? want to stop playing. She gets your program checked. Might be a glitch. Hank, please love us. I need to do a run where Connor doesn't die, but I don't know if that's if it's possible to keep Hank alive. It can't be based on chance. Oh, hey, it's it's the uh, hi uh, menu girl. I'm Chloe, uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see. Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Uh, this is... Okay. We're at, like, cyber life, I guess? <laughs> Hank hates you because he d you died for him. I know he's just, like, I'll mad. I'll Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. I don't know, he's just, like, mad that he realizes that we're not human and we can just be replaced, but he should know that. You should know we're just an android. I mean, not just, but like, we're also just an android. <laughs> Hank, do you need, can we talk about my death, about my untimely- Nice girl. You're right. She's You're really right? pretty. She's pretty? Are we, God, I, Jennifer Lawrence bot. <laughs> 
So this is uh, Elijah Kaminsky, the founder of CyberLife. Inventor of Ethereum. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. He looks like a dick. Oh. You're about to meet what your maker, this? Connor. Amanda. He's with... <gasps> Wait. Is... Okay, so is Amanda, like, the co-founder of CyberLife? Or is it... Or are they, like, in a relationship? Yeah, he's gonna turn out to be, like, a... Plenty of people love him because he's Elon Musk, but people should fucking hate him because he's Elon Musk. How's it feel? Um... I don't know. I'll what tell you, you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Interesting. I'd have a couple of artwork. things I'd want to tell him. The actor who plays Kamsky also plays the dick cop. Gavin, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> yeah, they just they looked at his face and realized this is the guy we want to piss everyone off. <laughs> what is this fucking like golden peanut he has? It's so pretentious. Let me read this. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to go in. I want to read this. Glad you will see you now. No, I want to read the. I know. No. There's a magazine. Chloe, no. Mr. Kamsky? It said she died? Wait, 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 wait. Just a this moment, said please. she died? Oh. Okay. Oh, then no. Okay, let me let me pause to analyze this for a second. So there are two Chloe's. God, this guy oh god. I hope in this chapter we have the the possibility to just kill this guy. So yeah, Amanda Amanda, I don't know. I don't know about Amanda right now. Maybe I don't know. Hug subroutines on Hank. This is creepy, not only because look at this pool, it's red. That screams I'm an evil villain, and I have made two twin bots for me to swim with and fuck this guy's fucked up this is uh, why are they talking they're like talking but nothing's coming out of their face <laughs> this man's evil wait can I swim then this man's so evil. Oh, he's not okay. Hey, yo. Freak. Freak in the creepy- Oh, your haircut, too. You just sending so many vibes, dude. <laughs> he has a type. He realized his type, and then he made them. Why are they talking? What do they have to talk about? They're androids. <laughs> I don't like you. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. You've made him. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but... Oh, he left. I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Uh-huh. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that? He seems to be having fun with this. Um, we would like help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of I have seen Ex Machina. Like uh, I, I get to be free many of the vibes diseases. from that movie. Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. This the machines right you now. created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? 
Whose side are you? It'd be on? interesting if he planned. Um. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. Do my but emotions you... get reset when I'm? What do you really want? I just want what to raise want my software instability. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. So in one of the in one of the videos for this, they show her talking about how she's the first robot to successfully like pass the Turing test. And it ends with her saying she doesn't have a soul. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I don't I know. I don't know test. what effect Very Connor simple, dying has on his his character. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. One of? Young. I thought she was. Ooh. And beautiful forever. That's really creepy. A flower that will never wither. You're really creepy. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? I mean, you program them to say that they don't have souls. Don't shoot it, you fucking weirdo! Oh, he's... It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. My butt question. is clenched at how awkward. It gets a creeper. Destroy this machine. Yeah, he just forces her down to her knees and or spare it. tells you to kill it. You feel it's alive, but you'll leave here without having learned anything from Prequel me. Prequel to Near Automata. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you. What's out more here, important boy. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Um, Hank is Sorry more important you are. to me. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed Making with his freedom. own Android snuff film. That's yeah, enough. He's, Connor, we're leaving. Pull he's really into just Connor. playing with them, even though Don't. he seems to and think that they what. have the essence of. Of course, I'm not gonna shoot it, you weirdo. Fascinating. Yeah, he seems to recognize that they have. Cyber like a free will, and yet he's still a creepy humanity. asshole who wants to murder them and fuck it them and do both, probably, at the same time? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Oh, wait, was he gonna tell me stuff? I saw a living being in this android. Was he gonna tell me stuff if I shot her? You showed empathy. I might have shot her no if I knew that. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Fuck off. What can be Freedom. worse than having to choose between two evils? I'm looking too Let's much between chat and the game to... But I... I'm kind of glad that I did By the way... No. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Emergency exit? Oh. Why didn't you shoot? But maybe Hank will I like me. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. This is much more that interesting than what I would have chosen. You let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay. This is so raw and emotional thing. and cute. Yay, Hank loves us. That's all I care about. Maybe it will be okay. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. I just want Hank to love us. Is that so wrong? Oh, the Kamsky test. Instead of the Turing test. Fuck this guy. I think he's 
as important as Alan Turing. I mean, I guess in his world he is, but he's also a dick. He should not compare himself to Alan Turing, who is a wonderful human being and also not a dick. I just want their relationship to be cute. I want them to be best buddies. That would have got us so much more. I don't care. We've got Hank to support us. I want Hank and Connor to to be good with each other. Uh, so I guess Connor dying really doesn't have too much. Um, also, it never tells us what our software instability is, so why even show it? It just says question mark most of this time until, like, until something big's about to happen. If Connor didn't die, would Hank still be here? I guess he would. Hank would still be here. So I'm, I'm, I want Connor to die less, but I don't want Hank to die at all because Hank can't come back and we can. I don't know. Ooh, I, I am not looking forward to the next conversation with Amanda. Apparently Detroit is the android city. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Wow. Thanks. But we turned off the footage. I mean, we turned off what we could find. An eyewitness who was asked to remain anonymous said I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. That didn't happen. I'm the ringleader. I would know if I threatened someone with a knife. It remains unconfirmed because it's stupid. We have no reason to disbelieve a human witness. As to the behavior of a deranged machine, fuck you! Why would you lie about that? The Eastern Space Race. Russia- hey, China, finally. Finally we're talking about China, and VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. 1 billion's not a lot, fucking... I guess EVE Online still exists in 2038, though. At least we're still talking about China, but... Alternative blue blood fluid with less upfront power generation but greater efficiency. Interesting. <laughs> Sword Art Online? I would love that. Um... Enjoy some time alone is our objective. Easiest objective for me. Most of my time is spent alone. Where are we and why are we here? piano makes you more human. <laughs> so good at tapping it. Oh, all I did was tap a piano. Hang on, there was another choice. 
Standing on an edge in the snow seems to be a Quantic Dream staple. I needed to think. I like it here. I don't like you. I come here often. I come here to escape you. It's like being alone with the world. I'd like to be alone. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. <laughs> they all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. Really? That's and what you're going to say? scary at the same time. I mean, I guess you're talking honest. about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. Extremely good chance to murder They're you. Of civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. <sighs> the humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. I'm optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. Like Carl. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Neither of you. Neither is anyone. No, what nobody was your life here like talks. Jericho? Finally. Carl was a good man. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Carl was a perfect man. Oh, why did. What's your past? I'm not what leaving about you? this alone. You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. No. I... I... That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Why does she like that? We're being nosy. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I'm just curious. I, I know it's not nice to push it, but I'm curious. Oh, the a path and distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> that, that... I should have told you. Connect? That really wasn't a lot. She didn't really give us anything. She just said, I strangled a man and I couldn't take it. I kind of expected something more. Yeah, they seem to not have any awareness of the past. Wait, what? Are we having android sex? I... I saw your memories. Lover! Carl's house. When they left you for dead I in don't the know! I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Lover! I don't want- no! Get away from me! North! Ew! Fuck this game! I- <laughs> I accidentally got a girlfriend. <laughs> That's not fair! I don't want a girlfriend! Just cause I understand her? I thought we were- Ooh. Yeah? Wait, this is just a, a different Simon, right? Not like a... Oh, wait, is it our Simon? He made it out? Our Simon made it out? I'm so glad we didn't find him. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. 
we're finally going to show them who we really are. We really haven't had a lot of time with Josh. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. What? They'll Fuck you. We'll make them understand. She just exists to be our girlfriend also. Way. It was the easiest. So. There were androids here who. The fact that it was just like I just fell into a relationship with her makes me kind of angry because it's just like they intend for you to do that. It's not really a choice. And in this game about choosing your life and free will and bullshit, the fact that we just sort of stumbled into her fucking robot hand sex just because I didn't I want I was curious and I wanted to know about the character. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Whatever. Let's just fuck this place up. Why didn't you get it? It's too expensive. Besides, I don't want to. <sighs> Veronica, fashion at its best. There's a Harmon Bank. I'm sorry, I'm wow. interested in so Ooh, the movies. Wait, are they all the same movies I saw before? They are. Okay, I'm just gonna go touch it. Oh, I missed something. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong idea. Use your relationship to manipulate her to the light side. <laughs> if, if by them being in a relationship, she'll become a better character, then you know what? I don't. I'll, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. You're free. Do we have to say it like that every single time? Can we go in the store? We cannot. I would like to go in buildings. I know we're in one already. I just want to go into the cool stores. Let me go in here. Show me what the inside of these rooms look like. Wait. Come with us. Wait, what? No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's on her phone. She won't realize. Okay, cool. I thought I was gonna get in trouble. Wait, did I get everyone in there? I did not. There's a greeting droid. You're awake now. You're woke now, actually. Rally your people and prepare to march. We'll take instructions. Hang on, are these androids? Oh, you're you're one of us. I prefer not to. No, no. You're free now. <laughs> hey, you're free. I touched. Where do you oh. think you're going? You get back here. Uh oh. You, listen, you stay <laughs> right here, you fucking machine. Wait, what? He's just gonna leave without putting up a fight? That's... I need to block the street. This seems like so mind control -y. I hate it. I know we said we were gonna pretend it wasn't like... It is. But it be like it is. <sighs> oh, man. You're free. Connor's the only story they seem to not fuck up. But like I like I said earlier, it's really hard to fuck up detective stories because you're just in you're investigating. And that's something that doesn't require a lot of putting forth your own ideas. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
open manhole cover? Why would I want to... What kind of store is that? I hope it's really just a shoe store and not a fetish store. I'm just gonna... They're shoes, right? Yeah. A shoe store specifically for stilettos? That seems a bit too niche. <laughs> Your hashtag woke now, comrade. <laughs> I feel like I forgot some people. Hang on. Did I forget? Oh, well, no. Nope. Only one option now. They they made a really nice beginning story for Marcus, but then they sort of, like, get lazy on creating nuance for his, his rise to the leader of a, a civil rights movement. Why are there androids in the sewers? I think it, it would... A lot of this story would feel fine if there was just, like, more... Am I converting them with my mind? You're free now. Are you kidding? I'm... It, it's literal mind control. <laughs> it's actually just mind control. But she's taking care of a- oh hey, it's a Kara! Where are you going? Get back here right now! Oh, Karas are meant to take care of children. That sucks. That's weird. She's just doing what she's been programmed to do and it's not free will. This scene's cute, though. I'm not gonna lie. Where I'm- I'm just Jesusing different androids to me. You join. You are one with us. It would be totally freaky, though. What? I love that comic store, though. That's cute. It's getting easier to summon them. He is indeed evolving. <laughs> wait, wait, where are we? Jesus, Come back here immediately. Drag. It's a pretty good soundtrack though. <laughs> and now they do thriller. I don't think we forgot any. You know, but he seems to be. Oh, hey, a policeman. No, we're gonna advance. There's nothing aggressive about walking. Jesus fucking Christ! Talking more than this. Dispatch, this is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. We are oh, hundreds. Thousands of They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck you I know. came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings 
And could All you confiscate this free. north? Because we don't this want her, and she's gathering. definitely this gonna kill you. Or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. Really? If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. Attack? We have to we leave. We have to get out of if here. We attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying. No! Dying here won't solve anything. That guy's Marcus, right. We need to go now. Simon's right. Late. I can't believe I like Simon the most of all. I thought this I was gonna like Josh. Chance. But Josh this just wants us to die. No. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. I feel like being here has sent like Our a good orders! oh my god no follow me they were going to shoot us i have to do this fuck them oh i fucked up i didn't know this was going to be a quick time event I know I was gonna go pretty pacifist, but the moment they said they were gonna shoot them, I couldn't. I just couldn't. They're fucking liars. Fucked up. <laughs> I'm not on casual. I'm surprised a lot of these fuck ups I've done haven't ruined anything. Of course, I'm gonna spare. I'm not gonna shoot him. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I feel it pretty immediately when I fuck up on a quick time event. Just the immediate regret of pressing the wrong button. If North dies in this kerfuffle, I don't think a lot of people will be upset. You know, if, if it's gonna happen, if we gotta die for our beliefs, then she should, you know. But she won't, because apparently we have to have a romantic relationship with her. Oh, don't shoot me! Oh, I just wanted to do the right thing, please. Why did I save her? I don't even like her. I know chat is going on, but I am, I'm not looking away currently because I don't want to fuck up too much. This is a really long sequence. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot We're them. Running. We won, Marcus. I don't need a girlfriend. Jesus. Especially not this one. Disperse might have been better, but like the moment that... The moment that they said they were gonna fire on us, I just... I couldn't. So many of us are dead, though. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> what North wants now? Yeah! I'm trying to ignore what she wants and doesn't want, because, like, I don't like her and I'd like to do everything that stops her from being our girlfriend, but I don't want that to control my choices too much. At least I didn't, like, shoot anybody. I am 
so covered in other people's blood, my own blood. I got shot a lot. How am I okay? Ooh. But it's still indifferent. I should have probably thought about the public opinion. But that wasn't right. They shouldn't just open fire on us. Defeat the police. Oh, you can lose the fight and something fucking terrible happens, probably. Yeah, they open fire. I couldn't. I couldn't just run away or sacrifice myself. Maybe indifferent is a bad thing. It it started out indifferent, so I'm not really sure how far we could rise or fall from here. But it does seem like it's sort of like the middle ground. We haven't... Even when it went up, we were still in indifferent. And even when it went down, we've still been in indifferent. So it seems like the very large margin of neutrality. I, I did ignore that policeman, but also because I didn't know there was much else to do about him. I missed something there. All right. Um. Ooh, not a lot of people were aggressive with this guy. Oh yeah, Simon survived. I'm glad he did, though. And apparently we're in a relationship now. That's great. I don't like North. Thought you made it up to neutral? Uh... On other things, other than the public opinion, I've made it up to neutral on people. Like, individual characters. But I don't feel like I've made it on neutral to the public opinion. Not a lot of people charged. But, like, how could you do anything else? They were gonna shoot us. They could have not shot us? I'm so confused. At least we won the fight, and apparently only 30% of people. So it looks like there's four endings, and we got 30%, so it seems like this one's slightly popular. Unless there's more I'm missing. No? Okay. I'm gonna do this Connor one, and then... Oh no, it's Amanda! I'm gonna do this Connor one, and then I'm gonna end. It's Amanda! Amanda, girl! What's up? How you doing? How you been? Yeah, it's hard to tell how the game decides who's going to die. Also, I'm just going to touch this again. We're just going to do the thing again. It's not really doing a lot for me, though. I'm just touching it because I want to. I just have a compulsive, like, desire to put my hand in this thing. It could end up fucking me over, and I don't know, but I'm just touching it. She's standing on the ice. Hey, yo, Amanda? Are you alive? Because I've been told you might be dead. I've been told there's a small chance that you were dead. Oh my god, that makes sense. If, if it gave me some, like, percentages of what would happen, then maybe my choices would be more informed by what I actually want to happen, but you're just sort of left guessing. 
Is this the real world or mine stuff? I don't know, because I don't know how I get here. I just sort of, like, end up here. It's just a place he seems to go, and there's not really, like, a good... There wasn't a good precursor. Apparently we play chess. Hey, Amanda. Honey. How's this going? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Oh, I didn't unlock something. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Cold. Kemsky was just playing with me. Oh no, my... My software instability. No, 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 no. I want to be unstable. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. Amanda? But Europe. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. I don't want her to like me. I want to be free. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. I don't want to prevent civil war. Find the deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Connor... Oh, God. It's his mind the palace. That's the so FBI fucking... is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. And Jesus, he loves Hank, us make up now. Your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. Listen to him. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't Don't... you back me up this one time? Yeah, Jeffrey. Come on, There's Jeff. There's nothing I can do. Jeff. You're back on homicide. J-Dog. And the android returns to Cyberpunk. No, I would No. I'm sorry, Hank. Please. But it's over. I don't want to return to cyber life. I want to stay here with Hank. Androids aren't even citizens. Yeah, they're they're pretty aware. That androids seem to be equivalent. They just don't want to give them rights. Talk to your buddy Hank. I don't want to leave Hank. Let's stay cough buddies forever. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I don't want I no to. Choice. I don't want to. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Steal me, Hank. What if Steal me from cyber people? life and Just let's run away. Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. God, you're such a narc. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Yeah, I've Empathy's been told that. Emotion. I've been told. I don't know why I did it. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Why am I bringing that up? Get on with your life. It's just a plastic <laughs> cop's opinion, but... Plastic cop? Oh, that's... I had to say it. I'm gonna miss this. 
Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. Well, what if we're not? You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution Because I don't want to die. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Because I don't want to die. Because I'm a, I'm a people. Come on, Hank. Help your buddy. Help me. The key to the basement is on my desk. Your fashion choices are questionable, but I trust Get you. a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yay, Hank. Come on. Take key from Hank's desk. Okay. Take. Take. Come on. Let's do this. We're not gonna... We're not gonna fuck up. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> oh my god, Hank. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what he's doing, but I don't want to know, really. Thank you, Hank. You are our best friend. You are our soulmate. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Fuck Though this I'm guy. I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Bromance? Oh my god! Oh no, don't shoot me. <laughs> you fucking loser. Well, go on then. What the fuck was that? Get out of here. Go. Fucking oh my words. god. What a crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is. Dick Cop is so, like, perfectly designed to be Dick Cop. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? Um, access the database and then three things that are. I don't want to fuck up any of this. This is a cool room, though. Use key. Get in, get out. Go back upstairs to Hank, our best friend, our confidant, our man. Hank's password. Oh no! What would a hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose? Oh no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Where is Jericho? I don't I don't want to find where Jericho is, but I don't want to die. Got to think. Wait. Took a child hostage. Okay. So we need to add some bio components to this guy to make him functional. Or this one? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. I I don't want to activate this one. I don't want to know where Jericho is. I just want to save my ass. Oh, take. Um. Shit, I'm I'm screwing this up. Okay, hang on. I need to focus. Can I put this in this guy? He needs a four seven one seven. Needs a four seven one seven. None of those are it. Oh, I'm so- I'm fucking up. The statue means nothing. I know about Marcus. Um... The diary. Maybe... But I don't have the information to read it. But it's useless. It's encrypted. Alright, do I have anything else? The truth is inside. The truth is inside. Inside. 
find what? Oh no, no, no. God, I'm gonna suck at this and I'm gonna fail. Uh... Maybe it's inside the statue? Break the statue. Oh yeah, it is! Fuck. Yes. Jericho is somewhere in the front nail neighborhood. Oh. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Okay. He needs a... Where would I even get that? I don't have it. So this guy needs a 3983. Does this guy have it? He does. Okay. So I can't talk to this one. Why would he tell you something? I have no idea. I guess maybe he thinks that you could join them. It's a little creepy. It's dark. Where? You can't see. Where am I? I'm sorry, you can't see. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Fuck. Now leave me alone. Shit, come on. I just need... I need your memory. I want to live. I don't want to know where Jericho is, to be honest, though. I just want to live. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Wait, what? Don't do it, Gavin. I, I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now... It's gonna be definitive. I can't let Connor die. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I did a very bad thing there. But I would like to live, please. Getting in the way. It looks like someone's been snooping around. Cause I know Shit. what happened. Get the alarm. Now. Cause I know what happened. No, I'm trying to help. Jesus. Last chance, Connor. Wow. A lot of things there. A lot of things here. Use friendly approach in the interrogation. Found the nest, found partners. Killed in public enemy. So that unlocked a lot of things for us. Oh, but I didn't figure out how to use Rupert's diary? But I did find out where Jericho is. So they give you a lot of things to find Jericho, but I, I wish I knew how to use the diary properly. Maybe Daniel could have told us something about it. I don't know. Oh, I didn't make Gavin unsuspicious. Ooh, I could have done something different there. And you saved Hank. <laughs> Yeah, he, he should... I mean... Hank doesn't seem very liked by a lot of people either, even though he does have like a hero cop history. So I can see why me being friends with Hank doesn't really get me anybody's good side. He punched him. Oh, I wish I could have seen it.
If we already knew where Jericho's location was by now, something different would have happened. But... Hmm. See, I keep... Okay, so... So there's one that's look at the magic stone, which come on. And there's a second one, which I don't know what it is. I don't know what the second one is. And I, I haven't found it every time I've gone into the Amanda portion of this game. Also, yeah, Amanda can be neutral. Um, but she's never been indifferent. And the public opinion's never been neutral, but it has been indifferent. Uh, so... I'm just gonna quickly check what this... Okay, I'm gonna end here. Um, I really like the Connor story. I feel like maybe the Kara story is about to get better. And I'm really worried about the Marcus story because I really don't want to be dating North. And they just seem to be jumping into different situations without a lot of planning or backstory like we ask north about her story and she just gives us some like really bland like textbook people buy me because i'm an android and i didn't want to be it anymore it's like yeah that's not a story that's a synopsis tell us shit because apparently we're dating now Yeah, I I usually do my uh, uh, I almost do like three hours to a T every single time. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this. We will continue. What day is tomorrow? I have a bit of work I need to get done tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it tomorrow or the day after because those are two days I'm kind of I should be busy. Um, but within the next three days, we're going to continue the next chapter of this, and we're going to go for another three hours. Very predictable. <laughs> um, and Amanda's going to continually hate us. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you liked it. If you missed any part of it, if you want to go back and check out um, things we've already done, I've been uploading them to YouTube. Um, so you can go there and see all of the choices we made up to this part. We have not gone back and done any different things. We've just didn't been doing our first blind run through of it. Um, and I like it. I like... <laughs> It's unfortunate that, like, the thing I like most is the Connor part, because I feel like my opinion of this game is like, yeah, it elicits a lot of, like, cool, strong emotions from me and stuff, but it's mostly just the Connor part. <laughs> like, the other the other parts of the story are fun sometimes, but, like, the real thing where it's just, like, this is a really gripping narrative is just the Connor bit. But anyway, um, I'm gonna head off for now. Hope you guys have a good night, and hope you had fun. I will see you guys next time.